Hi everybody, welcome to the Week in Marvel Avengers Alliance. Today is October 23rd, and we are going to call this the Mega Sale Edition. Today's background soundtrack is brought to you by some chiptunes. <clears throat> and the link will be in the description. I'm also recording things a little bit differently today. I'm actually using the GeForce Experience to record directly rather than Camtasia. So, what have we got going on today? Well, we're down to the last two days of PvP. My guess is the way that their clock typically runs is that it will end Monday. My guess is Monday at 5 o'clock Eastern. Uh, that's when things have typically gone in terms of the time of day. Whether it's Monday to Wednesday, that tends to bounce around. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be Monday at 5 o'clock Eastern. So, what do we have going on today? Well, we have this huge sale, but surprisingly no Spec Ops. We have the Son of the Demon Set 2. They're actually adding a 2 on this one. This one is actually worth your value because they're adding the Hammering Nail, which is technically the downgraded version of the Heir of Hell. If you look... The Hammering Nail says that it is 3 of 4, and the Air of Hell says that it is 3 of 4 also. The difference between the two is that the Hammering Nail has a slightly higher top end, and the Air of Hell adds Bane, which further helps the, uh, the suit going on. And you'll notice they both do the same things, but surprisingly... The Hammering Nail does not say Upgrade Available like a lot of the others. This is a relatively good set and it has gotten more important moving forward because of Scourging Gaze causing the AoE generalized. If you have Dizzy and use this, you will apply Generalized to all enemies. In order to get Dizzy, unfortunately, it means you need to run the Chalice of Souls. The Devourer is phenomenal in this set, as it essentially kind of turns you into Black Knight. If you have Weakened, you have a chance to do Incapacitation as an AoE, and this will counter people or follow up on people if they are bleeding. Slowed is caused by the Air of Hell. If you have Exposed, you will apply Soul Fire to enemies, and that's where the Devourer and the Air of Hell have some good synergy. The good thing is, you can run the Chalice to Devour, the Scourging Gaze, and get rid of these two, and run the Scroll of Rudimaroth, and then something else, maybe like um, the Weather Control Device, or the Cube, or something. The Hammering Nail does not have to be run in this particular group. It is simply a bonus item because the Air of Hell replaces it and is generally better in every single way. So this is worth a purchase because with the way heroes are now, the fact that they can activate their class ability without their rock, paper, scissor opposite being on the opposite side of the field, uh, it's extremely important, especially in the face of all those infiltrators with the pre-fire ISO, if a level 15 infiltrator activates combat reflexes, like Miss Chicky Emma Frost over there, they will pre-fire with things. And that could be really, really bad in the case of, like, Emma Frost and that psychic tap. So it says that the heroes are on sale in this graphic over here, but I honestly can't tell, because when I look at costumes that I don't have, they don't seem to be discounted, and I have all the heroes except for uh, A-Bomb. Now, the ISOs are available, and you can get to them one of two ways. You can get to them by going to the store and going down to either the E-ISOs or the A-ISOs and buying them. Basically, they don't seem to be discounted. But everything is available, including ones that are technically not available anymore. Uh, for example, the Carolina Dean one, where she has the chance to cause the um, blinded before somebody attacks. That was from a Spec Ops 
and that is no longer available. The Groot one, I think it's here, blinding? Yes. Chance to preemptively place blinded migraine on attacker. So this is not available. There was the Groot one that says he takes reduced damage from dots. That's available. And considering we have that lovely Elite ISO, that's not a bad idea to combine the two. This Gasping one uh, restores health to remaining allies when she's defeated the first time. That's another example of one that is, I believe, not in the game currently. So basically, you can get anything to your heart's desire. Unfortunately, we're not syncing this up with a sale. And it expires October 30th. So you've got about a week to make a decision. My guess is if you have anything here that you want and it's out of the game, you may want to get it. If it's in the game and you're capable of farming it, you may want to try to farm the hell out of something before you actually just buy it. Because remember, there's two forms of currency in this game. Real life currency, which translates into gold, and time and patience. If you have time and patience, you could probably get anything you ever wanted. Um, you know, with the exception of obviously sets and everything like that. But you, with time and patience, I mean, you could just keep saving up your gold and saving up your gold and saving up your gold. So... The ones that I'm actually looking at for EISOs are Visions Sighted, the Tiger one for her Frenzy that makes it stealthy, because that would be so awesome to open up with an AoE that's stealthy, um, Union Jack's Surprising, actually I'm sorry, that's AISOs that I've been listing, uh, Union Jack's Surprising, Black Knight's Restful Atonement, seeing how crazy he's been, Psylocke's Psychic Shock for her Psychic Knives, Colossus's Iron Will, and Scrin's Boxing. And uh, for those, they would be examples over here. Now, the AISOs are a little bit different. They're coming in cheaper. And as you go through the list, they get progressively cheaper until you get to the end. And then you see they dump basically down to 9. Like, this one's 9 because they know this is bugged. It does not apply to every form of Iron Man. High card being 9 is an extremely good value. Stealthy and flank is huge. Disadvantage on an action that is up every turn and is a quick action is also pretty huge. So I think those are uh, really good down there at the very end. Over here at the high end, the 19s. Hobbled is, is not too bad. It just means people aren't stealthy. I think that one's a little excessively expensive. This Violent one is phenomenal if you have an Archangel. Uh, Blades of Rage now applies a pincushion. I think that one's good. The ability to phase people on command. I like that one. So basically, I mean, it would be very, very tough for me to go through 8 pages and then 26 pages. Or, well, okay, 14. Uh, it's very, very hard to answer all of that. You're going to have to make the decisions yourself. Uh, I can just share the ones that I'm looking for for the E-ISOs. Black Panther's Flashing. Storm's uh, Windy, the one with the Protective Shroud at the beginning of combat. It's a possibility. Hogan's Warbound is a definite yes. Uh, that is one that I would like to get. Uh, Wonder Man's Averting, where he tanks AoE attacks. Uh, would also be really, really good. So basically, um, I can't really go through all those ISOs for you and tell you which ones are good. You know which ones you have unlocked. You know which ones you have the ability to farm for. So you kind of have to answer that all yourself. If you've been watching any of my PvP streams on Twitch, I had a hell of a day this morning. Uh, I went to bed last night at either this 1792 or this 1808, and I came back to a negative, uh, like, 100 some odd points. I came back to this 1691, and I had to claw my way back up, and I took some huge losses over here, like to Aizen from Bleach, uh, this LDA Sire over here, took some really bad ones. And, uh, actually didn't mean to click that. That's just bad luck go my way over here. I mean, that crystal. But, uh, I clawed my way back up to where I want to be, which is around 1775. That's 
a nice buffer for myself over there. I uh, did want, did run into a scroll, ran into one or two crazy teams. Uh, amazing Spider Woman. I don't know what is with this chick, but every time I see her, she's just putting in huge fucking numbers. Uh, it's just been, even with the immunity set up, so that she cannot, uh, you know, the rattling doesn't go into effect and everything. You equip this girl with blaster isos, and she is... I mean, she's just crazy. It, it makes me want to maybe run the Blackest Void to get rid of her bus or something, but... Um, and I mean, this repelled uppercut does just incredible, credible damage. I actually had her hit Molly with this, do very low damage to her, but then the splash damage from the... Uh, the Blaster AI so just hit the team hard. I mean, she's turned into a real jackass. A Black Knight is seemingly very, very bugged where he is essentially immune to everything for like the first two rounds of combat. Uh, but then every now and then I'll run into one who does seem to go through the motions, but seems to be affected properly. I've like dumped a scroll of Runamaroth on Black Knight and he walks right through it. A fire tornado, he's walked through it. And then all of a sudden he just starts getting debuffed. But um, if you want a really, really slowing defense on the last few days of PvP, my recommendation is Black Knight and Carolina Dean. The way Black Knight is so bugged and constantly going through those uh, restoring health animations and all the animations that Carolina Dean goes through, you may really piss people off. But here's the thing, with the blinding ISO, reducing the chance that people will hit you and lessening their damage is a, actually a really good idea. She tends to be a little stupid. In PvP, where she'll use, like, um, you know, the Imper the Hadouken a little early when there's not a whole lot to run out. But if you equipped your agent with some energy things to provide her with stacks, like that Roaring Thunder quick action, the Storm Herald or whatever. Um, so you, if your agent went energy-based and she just did all those really crazy long animations and everything... It might be bad. Of course, there's always like Rescue and Falcon. They're very, very popular. Uh, you could run potentially Thors and Carolina Dean on the last days. He does all the damage while she does all the slow your PC down to a crawl. Plus, his attacks are electric and energy based, so they will give her stacks. Um... You could run Victor and Carolina Dean, that would, especially if he was 15 and had the pre-fire ISO. He definitely likes to shut down tech from his Magnet Man. And, uh, that's, that's pretty big. Of course, he shields himself as often as he can, which also works with Carolina Dean's the Chromatic Crash and everything like that. So there is definitely a few things you could do. If you ran, like, Falcon and Groot... Especially with both ISOs on Groot, like the Elite ISO and the reduced damage from Dots. That would be a hard team to chip at. I mean, you'd probably win, but it would take a lot of work. Um, Sandman, of course, has been putting up some good numbers for people's offense and everything. So, <sighs> yeah, what a day. What a day. Absolutely ran into some complete bullshit on some of these. And, uh, you know, stuck in there, had some good decisions. Molly, for me, has been getting some really key can. If you're a Molly fan, yeah, I would absolutely get the candy ISO in the store. She gets some clutch candies over there. The whole chance to not fall asleep after the tantrum didn't used to mean anything to me, but now with the stamina issues, um... It's actually not that particularly bad because you would, you know, at the end of the tantrum, you rest. The thing is, I always kind of want to get her back into her tantrum as soon as possible. And with Haif's immunity, she does not go through the stun the way she normally would. But when Pesty's on the field, uh, that's a little bit different. 
Hyperion's animations also could slow the game down a little bit, so running him on defense might not be a bad idea. If you ran him with Carolina and her shields kept him healthy while he went through all of his buffs, that would be good. Uh, if you ran the Scroll of Runamaroth on defense and him and maybe like him and Sandman and a Neurotrope or something, and one of them had the Elite ISO, I think that would be uh, pretty solid too, is that it would allow Hyperion to ramp up and everything, so, yeah, that's pretty much today's episode, there is a ton of Isis out there, I really can't tell you which ones are the best, because you know which heroes you like and whatnot, I mean, I could say, uh, you know, yeah, get Deadpool share the love AI so and have him put buffs out on people, and then boom bust them, but you might ha hate Deadpool, you might not even like him, you might not even have him, so, uh, it's really, really tough to talk about over there. Some of the ones that I will say are definitely worth a purchase. The Bounding ISO for Union Jack, I think, is phenomenal. The Carolina Dean one is really, really good. The Molly one for eating candy, I happen to like. I think the Hogan Warbound one is going to be excellent. Uh, the ones for Black Panther really help him out you saw what kingfisher did for colossus and iron will i think if you ran stock colossus gave him the elite iso and also gave him the one where he constantly counters with decimate that's probably a really really good combination right there and i mean there's just so many there's ones for the scarlet witch to change your probability field i think it's literally every a and e iso the game has ever had so have at it. Do what you want to do for your money and everything. As far as the Son of the Demon set, for me, I repurchased it basically to re-level some of those items. They were very out of date for me. Um, I kind of figured, why not? So, there it is, everybody. Take care. Please follow me on Twitter and Twitch so you know when I'm broadcasting and doing my live PvP 5, which will, of course, be ending soon. But I also do other broadcasting on Twitch such as Heroes of the Storm and World of Warcraft and Marvel Heroes and a bunch of other things. So, happy upcoming Halloween, folks, but I'm sure we will be touching base one more time before then. So, see you, everybody.